Enter the Stars, you guys, and wow, just wow. I think that with all of us working together, we may have solved the secret of the universe. And I don't want to be dramatic about this, but this has been a process of 20,000 of you coming together over the last three years and sticking it out to try to find the truth. And with the last video I just uploaded, we see that it could very well be possible that we are living inside of the shape of God's eye. With the lens, the backside of the lens, being the shape of our earth, a hill, and the equator being halfway from the top of that hill to the bottom. And then at the bottom being the Antarctic ring. And that from the equator perspective, the reflection that we get on the night sky could in fact be the reflection of how the stars travel at the equator. And that that would make sense in a giant globe mirror that would be surrounding us around that eye, around that lens, and that globe mirror being the retina of your eye. So I decided to look again to the Bible and think of all the verses talking about the eye, that we were made in God's image. And that maybe that means that we were made inside of God's eye. And I thought about all of the other verses in the Bible that talk about the eye, how we will be transformed inside the twinkling of an eye. And maybe that twinkling isn't the God's twinkling of his eye in which the whole universe might exist. And that how the devil might want to hide this information because if we knew that the stars above us and the earth below us was shaped like an eyeball, that we might find the truth and that the truth could set us free. And we would never again doubt our creator. And I think about the verse in Enoch. It talks about the skies above made to glorify God and to prove his creation. And when I think about that and what we just discovered, that makes perfect sense. Let's look at some more Bible verses about the eye and see if they fit in to what we just discovered. And when we look through the lens, pun intended, of the Bible with this thought in mind, everything I just described, things are seen in an entirely different perspective. That when they ate of the tree, their eyes were opened and they should be like God's, the image of God's eyeball. And that the tree was good for food and pleasant to the eyes. And they repeat over and over, the eye in the book of Genesis. And both of them, their eyes were opened and they knew they were naked. And we think about what could be meant when Jesus said, let your eye be single and your whole body be full of light. And that he could be referencing the fact that if we understand that we live in the single eye of God, then we will understand the truth. And that when Jesus said that when our eye is single, that our whole body would be full of light, that when we understood that God is the eye that we live in, that our body is full of light, and that that is when we become a star in heaven. But when their eye is evil, their body is full of darkness, which could be like the black holes of the heavens those who do not have a star. And we can also see that the tree of life, 
that she ate of, that Eve ate of, could be the retina at the back of the eye that looks like a tree. And then by eating of it, her eye was opened. And now I'm gonna blow your mind because if in fact, we each have a star in heaven, as the book of Enoch tells us that we do, then could it be that the light coming in God's eye through the front is projecting our own life and brilliance onto the backdrop of the retina of our night sky, our universe that we see. And however brilliantly we shine on this earth is a direct demonstration of our stars in the sky. Could it be? Could it be? And when God kept Israel as the apple of his eye, we might be able to see what he's talking about here. And we think about Samson, whose eyes were put out. And we think about the blinding of one's eyes and the fact that when people begin to die, their eyes grow dim. And we begin to understand that maybe this is the truth that we've all been kept from. And now we can begin to see other truths through this truth. That we are born in God's eye, in the womb. And that the placenta is like the retina. It is the image of God. And that the child is upside down. And our brain becomes the earth. and that the placenta nourishes our new soul and that God is projecting from the outside world and that is how conception occurs through the lens, through the glass and this is why the cervix of the uterix acts much like the lens dilating and contracting. And we find scriptures like Psalms 11.4, that the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. And that the light could be shining through from the eyeball and as we said, projecting the stars onto the retina of what we see as space. This is simply amazing. And the apple of the eye being the focal reflection or light source going in through the front of the eye where God's throne is. And that when we ask God to be in the apple of his eye, which some of these verses state, that in fact we are wanting to be in God's favor. And it explains why the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. And we begin to understand the as above, so below, that if God's throne is the light projecting through the lens, our stars on the heavens, as each of the righteous has their own star, according to the book of Enoch. That if that is the case, then also the light traveling through the lens of earth, it becomes our reality. When we think about physics and that dust and light are what make up our reality, we see creation all around us and that all around us is God. It is the manifestation of his handiwork projected from his light, from his love through the lens and onto the surface of our planet. 
And then we are projected through our righteousness onto the ceiling, so to speak, of the canopy of stars. And when we consider for a moment the star spin at the equator, with the stars in the middle running vertically and the stars in the southern hemisphere running clockwise and the northern counterclockwise. And if we contemplate for a moment that the glory of God comes in through the lens, through the bottom of our feet into creation, and that our stars are projected onto the surface of the black sky, then we can begin to contemplate that maybe what we are seeing here at the equator are the eyes of God. Take care and be safe, you guys.